Hello, my name is Stephen Kiewicz. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona and moved to Buckeye for a majority of my life. And at a very young age, my parents split up. And ever since then, there was this burden on, on my heart and I didn't know how to get rid of it. So I dealt with depression for, I'd say a good couple of years of my life. And from that, I tried to find, there's a hole in my heart and I tried to find that void that would cover it up. And the things I went to were the things of this world, but it didn't really bring satisfaction. Those things were pornography, marijuana, stealing, being a thief, being a rebel to my mom. I, I can't believe what I did to her. When I look back at it, I really put her through a lot of stress. And going into my teenage years, I went back and forth between my mother and my dad living. And from there on out, I didn't know what to do with my life. I was broken. I had no plan for my life. Uh, I thought I was going to be a homeless man growing up. Multiple times throughout uh, my teen years, I had revelations of just going to hell. Because at a young age, I, I did go to church. I was a church kid, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was like an outcast. And when my parents split up, I didn't think much of that because I didn't I didn't believe in God just because of that. But that was a big mistake. And Throughout my teen years, like I said, I had revelations of going to hell and I didn't want to. That, that really struck fear into me. In the eighth grade, um, I went to stores and I started stealing things. And during that time, during those days where I was becoming a teen, I was influenced by other people. And I started doing things like ding dong ditching, stealing from people. And one day I vandalized the property of my school. I didn't realize what I was doing. It just led down to more destruction on that path. From then, I started smoking marijuana until age 15, freshman year. And I was really stuck into the sin. I didn't know how to get set free from it. And from then on, uh, I was I was being influenced by Satan and the world. And I didn't realize it because my eyes were blinded. Like the Bible says, uh, the God of this world has blinded my people. And I, one day, I cri cried, out, cried out to God and said, I want to go to heaven, but I don't know how. And then I'd say a few months later, my dad told me and my sister that we're gonna to move to Casa Grande, Arizona. And then from there on out, my sister said, we should go to a, attend a church like we used to. And my dad agreed and I agreed. I thought it would be a good plan and maybe it would fix things. But from there on out, I didn't expect what would happen to me. When I found Christ, I became a new creation. That's the best way I can explain it. That's what the Bible says. And becoming a new creation, you get a, a heart with new desires. You desire righteousness instead of things of this world. And God gave me a pure heart. And as soon as I gave my life to Christ, the desire for marijuana went away, the desire to watch pornography went away. I've been acting different. I don't curse on my parents anymore. I'm not a rebel like I used to be. And since then, I'm not I'm not really abusive towards other people. Uh, the murderous heart of mine went away. And I have brothers to call upon now. I have a church family, a church home. And that church is Victory Chapel. That's where I was saved at. Since I have been saved, um, I've been used tremendously by God. I didn't expect him to use me, the person I was. I am now an usher for my church. I do church ministry for my for children at the church. I invest in their lives. I gave my life to Jesus Christ three years ago, and that, I was age four, 15 at that time. It was in 1 Timothy 4.12. Uh, do not let anyone despise your youth. And if you're a teenager watching this, I encourage you to give your life to Christ right now because we, we cannot play games in this last hour, even if you're a teenager. 15, 16, you could be 11, give your life to Christ right now. And I'm encouraging you guys watching this, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I'm encouraging you right now to do it because it's worth it. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Hi, my name is Stephen Kiewicz and it's through Jesus Christ that I live again.